Hey everyone and welcome back to another mukbang! I hope you guys are all having a great night tonight. He just started drinking as soon as I started this. And I have hot food in front of me, so I'm just going to work through it. I've got a uh, Cidral Mandet with me. Some apple juice, sparkling apple juice. I've got some pickled jalapenos, some sour cream, some enchilada, some avocado, some lime. There's an extra enchilada over there if I need it. Let's see how these are. Let's see. Let's see. Sorry about the dog. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Very hot. Just came out of the oven. It was hot, but super good. I like the green chili. Adds a nice uh, tanginess to it. And speaking of that, I'm going to add a little bit of sour cream to that. That would be yummy. I don't need a jalapeno yet. It's hot. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Ooh, work through the pain. Mmm, that was good. The avocado, sadly, are not not the ripest, but it's okay. It's better than no avocado. That's for sure. Cool my mouth down so hot. And the adding the sour cream and cool it down. Mm mm. No, it did not. No, ma'am. What did I do today? Today it felt like such a blur. Got up late because I went to bed late. Mm. It was a beautiful sunny day. Check my Instagram out at Positive Smash. I posted a bunch of pictures from walking the dogs today. Mmm. What's really awesome about my neighborhood, I feel like is that there's always different plants in bloom. I try not to take pictures of the same ones twice. Of course, I end up doing that sometimes, but... I'll try. Mmm. Burger camp here. Let's try a lime on this one. No nappy can. Oi. Crap. Oh my god. I think we're gonna hit 3,000 tomorrow. So, I'm gonna need to remember to go get a pie crust and some whipped cream so I can get pie in the face tomorrow. I have not been pied in the face since I was like 12. 13 at like a church event. Mmm! Yeah, I'm hot. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with it as hot as it can be as long as it doesn't burn my mouth. So far, so good. These peppers at the bottom of the jar are all like the tops of the peppers. 
I want to eat the the little stem spot. I don't know what it's called. This stuff is so good. Mm. <laughs> and somebody last Friday I was like, those drinks would probably be better cold. Like, <laughs> what do you think? I got home from the market and I was like, all right, I'm just going to try this warm. No. Come on. Of course, they were cold. They had been sitting out for six minutes, but this has been sitting out for a couple minutes and it's still pretty cold. Mmm. They took my Game of Thrones down. There's like, you can find the whole book, but I don't want the whole book. I have like eight chapters of the book left. So that's like that much out of a book that's like that thick. So trying to find where I am is like near impossible. So I either just have to finish reading it on my own, wait till somebody re-uploads it, or actually go through and find the spot I'm at. Ugh. Such a pain. It's bound to happen. Mm-hmm. That's good. I'm quite impressed. I thought like all it is is three ingredients. Like that's not gonna be very filling. No, I I'm getting full. Scarfing quickly is not good because it makes you feel like you're full a lot sooner than you are. Mm. I don't know if I turn the oven off. Oops. What was I going to talk about today? Oh. I know all the shit. That happened with Trisha Paytas and her fucking house. I just think that it was a combination of things. Yes, the bad memories of like, she, here's the thing. She had never, the guy never said to her, we'll move in together. She assumed that she got a house, they would move in together. She talked about that on, I think, a podcast. So if you really want to get into the head of what she was thinking when she first moved in there, go listen to her podcast. Um... So yeah, she was sad about that, but that's not, that's not why she's moving out. She's moving out because people fucking put her address on the internet and people were coming to her house. It had absolutely nothing to do with that guy at all. Yes, she said that in her video the other day. She's like, yeah, there's some bad memories to do with him and da 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 da. But that's not the main reason she's moving. The main reason she was moving is because people posted her address. <coughs> Which is a huge violation of privacy. Seriously. I, I couldn't... I'm glad I'm a small YouTuber. I couldn't be somebody with 100,000 followers or more. I would I would be worried. Even with my big two Ger German Shepherds. Doberman Pinchers. How much of Doberman Shepherds? She needs a big-ass dog, but she hates dogs, so. Not hiring a security guard to hang outside of her house all day? Uh-uh. She talked about that in her last video. Like, I'm not... I've watched this bitch for years. I'm not out of the loop. But, she made the video yesterday. Her, like rocker sex stories 
first of all, the first guy she was talking about is a porn star. Why not just say his name? You can look in the comments of that video and somebody says who it was. I looked at him, looked him up. He went in one ear, out the other. Like some of the stuff that I listen to on YouTube. I'm just like, I'm not even really paying attention. I'll watch this video, but I'm not really, like, focusing on it. Mm. Especially with people's story times. They get rambly and start to meander else uh, other stories. I'm like, just get back to the point. I wonder... And maybe my little Tweety Bird can email me about this. I wonder if her and Pete Mills were seeing each other for a minute. And that's why she stopped working with him. She's been very careful about talking about him. She said, like, my old music producer, but... I wonder if he, he was the guy from... New Year's Eve. I could be totally wrong, but that's what I'm saying. Like, let me know. What am I gonna do? Come on here and say that shit. You saw. I didn't say shit you said to me, so. I'm a pretty trustworthy person. Um. But I just wondered that. Like, oh, I wonder if her and Pete Mills got together because. There was like tons of pictures of them going out to dinner and stuff and then all of a sudden nothing from him. And that's when she started up with the other company. I'll just say that. It's too complicated. Mm. I just remembered I did not put cumin in the mixture. I'm not really a big fan of cumin anyways, so it wasn't a, a bad thing to forget, but damn, two nights in a row that I'm forgetting stuff in recipes. I'm slipping. That person's right. I can't cook for shit. I've had friends who are like actual real professional chefs. My uncle's a professional chef. Yes, there's like the class of people who's all about food presentation and like making it look beautiful. I just want it to taste good. I just want to eat something that tastes good. It tastes fine. It was good. It was tasty. Was it like blow your mind amazing complicated dish? No. It was like five and four or five ingredients. Talk about meandering all over the place. I'm all over the place tonight. Um, I think that's what happens when I read, listen to audiobooks during the day. Is like I'm so focused on those books that like I don't think about a lot of other stuff. I'm just focusing on that book, and then as soon as I stop reading it or listening to it, I'm like, Ugh. excuse me, kind of like stoned, but I'm not. Like I haven't smoked all day, but that's the feeling. Once I finish listening to an audiobook, like, I feel very foggy and, like, groggy. I said in my cooking video, the way that I was talking, I was like, see, I sound like I'm, like, tired. I'm not. <laughs> okay, last enchilada bite. Well, one more.
Curtis the Cowardly Dog. I think that that's what we're going to look up tonight. It's only 10 o'clock. Oh my god. It's a miracle. Mm -hmm. Courage of the Cowardly Dog. Conspiracy there. Controversy. This is the Wikia again. Courage is a Cerebus. A Cerebus is a sacred dog with one goal in life. Do whatever he can to protect his master. The kind Muriel and grumpy Eustin, Eustace who hates everyone and everything. For all the oddities and evils that plague his home and nowhere, no one is really sure where no one is. nowhere is. All we see of it is its barren, hellish wasteland. Whenever the monster of the week appears, we see courage saving Muriel and protecting, protecting Eustace's house from being destroyed, despite it being pretty worthless to begin with. Muriel always see... Muriel always see... Courage sees... Courage with another head, or Courage expresses his emotions or warning messages by altering his body, by giving, giving him multiple heads. Courage, Cerebus is a guard dog that stays in nowhere, hell, to protect his home, keeping mankind, Muriel, safe from the evils of the underworld. Le quoc, greed, naughty Fred, murder, cats, hate. Oh, I think those are characters from the show. His masters, Eustace, Hades, will rule over and hate all that is in, that is in hell, from a dog's perspective. The second theory states that there aren't actually any monsters, and that Courage only thinks there are because he, has, he was never taken on walks. This would explain why Eustace seemingly does not remember what happened to him in a pri prior episode. That's it. So the point with that one, that one is that... So since he never got taken on walks, that's why he thinks he's in nowhere. That's why he thinks that all that's around him is a barren wasteland because he's never been there. So that's his imagination. Okay, this is a little bit longer. Dear Courage the Cowardly Dog fans, let me ruin your child ha childhood. <laughs> let me ruin your child. Have you ever had one of those moments where you're watching a cartoon and your nephew or niece, son or daughter, with your and started to realize for the first time that there were probably that 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 you probably are messed up in the head due to the show god i cannot read tonight like a whoa the show is messed up i did not recognize that when i was little kind of show except for the part where i was watching cartoons with my nephew i was really just scrolling down netflix by myself <laughs> i'm still trying to figure out this grow grown up fucking read your shit before you publish it thing everyone is talking about. Anyways, as a child we had a lot of free time on our hands. Bet we all wish we could get, have that back. One of the best ways to pass the time as a child, in my opinion, was watching cartoons. I'm not gonna lie, I was a Nickelodeon kid, but I did tune into Cartoon Network for my second and third favorite shows, Courage the Cowardly Dog, and codename Kids Next Door, but Hey Arnold was my number one. While watching Courage, I came to a realization. As adults, you can see things that we did not notice when we were younger. Our rep respective cognitions have developed and we are aware of the world around us like never before. I was watching the Freaky Barber episode when this new awareness really scared me. The, this episode is disturbing to the max. The first scene opens with the dark silhouette of Fred, Muriel's nephew. Fred is known as the Freaky Barber. I feel nice and naughty, he says, as the creepy music plays in the background. Fred and Courage, the cowardly dog, get stuck in the bathroom when things get serious. Fred puts Courage on the toilet and makes him sit. Then Fred goes on a soliloquy where he states, I've never felt so naughty. He looked at me with his fetching eyes. I filled with joy. I filled with sighs. And that's when I got... Naughty. Yes, he does speak in a nursery rhyme that sticks in your head. This episode will linger in your mind for a while. It is that disturbing. 
My words are an understatement. This episode is messed up. What kind of social order are these shows promoting? I'm no psychology major, but I think it's clear that as a child we are impressionable. I could be looking into a silly cartoon a little too much, but this episode really freaked me out. I hate to sound like one of those conspiracy Illuminati theorists, however, why conspiracy Illuminati theorists? What well, conspiracy theorists is all you need to put person who wrote this article. Man, I want to write you a letter. However, if you don't believe me, check it out. I won't even get into the Disney Channel theories. We've all seen the cloud and the Lion King that spells out sex. This is a sort of what I'm seeing in the aforementioned Courage episode. As a whole, the show, show, as a whole, the show's children watch. Okay, I'm literally reading what the person said. This is what I mean by, like, sometimes it's hard for me to read. I do have a touch of dyslexia, but sometimes it's just people's writing is so god-awfully bad that I can't understand what the fuck they're saying. Oh, I know my nephew likes to copy things that he sees, but what if all he's seen is these garbage cartoons? What if all he sees is news coverage about school shootings and describes that it looks fun. What kind of effects are they having on his state of mind? I should start double checking the thing I let him the things I let him watch. Well you're not his parent, you're his fucking uncle. What if he was watching the courage episode with me? Then you're a creepy uncle and you should have fucking turned it off. That just made me angry. Like as an aunt, yes, of course, I wanted to call my sister and be like, don't let Lily watch TV shows, don't let her do this, like, you need to be a better mom, da 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 da. I'm not her mom, I'm not her mom, I'm her sister. So, that guy saying, like, I should tell my nephew not to be watching that, his parents should be telling him, you shouldn't be telling him. I don't know why I'm so angry, I don't care. Um... I have always thought the Courage the Cowardly Dog theories are a little crazy. I do like the one that I said that like, they're not monsters and stuff, Courage is just interpreting what he thinks they are because he's never been out of the house, he is afraid of everyone who comes near him. So what if they're not dastardly situations that he's saving them from and they're just like some mundane situations but in his dog brain. He's making it be this grandiose, convoluted, mystery, murder, scary shit. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this episode, smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you like to see more and make new videos every single day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for ramen. Asian candy and join me on Periscope. I'm going to be going to Kiki Bakery and probably Periscoping in there. They're having a grand opening. So I've been in there many times with the camera. So I thought instead of bringing the camera in there, you guys have seen in there, I will do a Periscope. So hopefully you guys can join me at Positive Space Smash. Pretty much everywhere. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. looks like a fucking mess of a plate.